Hey everybody, it's Ansley from Teen Music Insider, and today I'm going to be interviewing Taylor Gray. She is now going to be going on tour with Jacob Whiteside to, for his Lovesick tour. So let's start off. So first off, why don't you tell us about your upcoming album? Absolutely. I am so excited about my upcoming album. It's called Falling, um, and it's really going in a, a different direction um, from what my old stuff is. It's kind of uh, more... I don't want to say electronic because like that has a whole genre around it, but it's definitely more dance. It's definitely more me um, as I'm growing as an artist. And I'm super, super pumped for it. The title track Fallen is a duet with Brad Simpson from The Vamps, which I'm stoked about. It's like one of the favorite songs I've ever written. Um, so yeah, just a lot of things are coming together and we're, we're taking a new direction with it and I'm super excited. That's awesome. So the song with Brad, like, what's the story behind that song? Yeah. So this, the song, the song is actually about, it doesn't have, like, a person behind it, but it, the, the theme is basically if you have a relationship with someone and you move on and then they're trying to, like, bring it back together, um, or it kind of, everything just kind of fall, it's, it's fall, uh, falling apart and, like, um, they're trying to bring it back together, and you're like, I can't go down this path again. Yeah, yeah. It's essentially what it is. You're like, I'm sorry, my bad, um, is what the song is about. And what was really cool is that when Brad heard it, um, I could know, like, just from, like, what he uh, wrote in emails and stuff, I could tell he really got it. And we did a little bit of collab with it, and it was just um, with harmonies, and it's just really great. Um, that was super fun. Another songwriter close to my age, like, getting the song was pretty dope. That's so awesome. So if you could collaborate with like anybody, who would it be? Oh gosh, I have a long list. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, pressure. Okay. I guess off the top of my head, I would have to say John Mayer. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Just cause he's such a music purist and like his songs are, yeah, I've, I grew I grew up listening to him. Um, that's yeah, that's definitely the off the top of my head. That one is like one of the. What's your favorite song by him? I like his. I like his cover of "Free Fallen" a lot. That was the first one. Like I know it's not his his song. No, yeah. But, yeah. Um, that was like the first thing I heard from him. Um, I listen to the, his live track of that all the time. Oh, well, that's so awesome! So now that we were just talking that you're going on tour with Jacob, what are you like most excited about that? Oh gosh. Uh, everything um I don't think that's it okay I'm really excited to um meet and talk to uh Jacob and Shane because I admire their music and songwriting skills a lot so that, that will be really fun to just be around other people my age ish um who are also songwriters and like kind of hear what it's like from them uh I'm excited to perform like I, I've been, I've done, I did, I performed all my life, but not my own songs. Yeah. Um, I've done a few shows here and there, but this is like really performing. So I'm really stoked about the opportunity to get up in front of people and share my music. I think, yeah, pretty much the whole aspect of the tour. Are you going to be singing songs from your EP, Mine of Mine? Yeah, I'm going to be singing Love Sweet Love from that EP. Um, which is the one with the video. And then I'm singing two new songs um, from the Fallen album, Falling, and then another song called Comeback, which I'm really excited about. Mm, that should be exciting. How was it making that Love Sweet Love video? It looked a lot of fun. I watched it. Thank you. Yeah, it was, it was super fun. We just kind of hung out and danced around. It was very... Yeah, it was very magical. I don't know. That's like we're just like going to all the different places and uh, seeing like what it's really like um, to make a production, like the different shots you need. That was yeah, it was super cool. I felt behind the scenes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, I guess I was. <laughs> yeah, because that was your first, yeah. like real music video, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I had done like a smaller time thing before, but it was the first real thing. For sure. That's so awesome. So now I was thinking we could talk a little bit more about like what type of music you like. So who is like your celebrity crush right now? Oh, uh, does this have to be music or can it be anybody? It can be anything. Okay. 
My celebrity crush is um, Daniel Jost from SNL. I think he is adorable, and I have the biggest crush on him. When he came on week, Weekend Update, I was, like, talking to all my friends. I was like, guys, I don't care if you don't watch SNL. You're watching this with me. I think, yeah, I think he's adorable. But, yeah. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> what was your first concert you went to as a kid? Ooh, I went to the Hannah Montana concert where the Jonas Brothers opened. I've been to that concert too. Nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was my first concert. And I think that's so that, weird that like Demi and Nick are going back on tour. I'm like, that's like weird to me. <laughs> I know, it's like Inception. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> it is very cute. Okay, uh, what song do you never get tired of hearing? Good, good question. Um, Hotel California by the Eagles or Life in the Fast Lane by the Eagles. Most songs by the Eagles. I love the Eagles. <laughs> Are they like a big influence to you or like who's some of your musical influences? Yeah, I mean, I wish I could write music like them, right? Um, it's like not my style and they're super talented. Um, uh, but yeah, growing up, I listened to Hotel California a lot, a lot. Uh, and that was a big influence on like learning what metaphors were in songs and just like kind of doing different cool things with different styles of writing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's so awesome. What is your favorite song? Of theirs or like ever? Ever and at the moment. Okay, at the moment, I'm really into I Hate You, I Love You by Nash with um, O'Brien. I really like that song. Um, I love singing it. I'm trying to convince um, my band. I'm like, guys, we need to do that on the tour. Like, we need to. And I was like, I That'd be really fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so at the moment, I'm really into that song. And then Ever, definitely an Eagle song for like yeah. ever, ever. That's so cool. Let me look one. <laughs> okay, so if Hollywood ever made like a, the Taylor Gray movie, who would you want to play you? Blake Lively. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I've seen like the, I've recently saw the Shallows like movie preview and I was like, I want to see that so bad. Oh no, same. I'm like, I watched it over. I was like, please, like, I hope there's more of it. Yeah. I'm so excited for that movie. But yeah, I just think, I just think she's a gorgeous, wonderful, awesome human being. And we look nothing alike, but I would like to pretend so like lively. I know, I was like, if I, if I ever got a movie, it'd be Jennifer Aniston, but she's so much older than me. But she's a good <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one, though. No, I mean, not that movie, though, because we live, like, uh, in Southern California, and so all these shark attacks and all these stuff are, like, saying now, too, and I'm like, nope. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go to the ocean. <laughs> too close. Too close to home. Nuh-uh. Okay, what's your favorite movie, then? Okay. So, truthfully, I'm not a big movie person. Um, I'm, like... I'm more of a TV show person, but I think, like, movies, like, I think We're the Millers probably was one of my favorites, just by nature of, like, I watched it more than once, and that's, like, a big thing for me, if I watch a movie more than once, um, so probably that one. I saw the previews, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, you said. Oh, you have to. You have to. Oh, my gosh. Jason Sudeikis. He's another one of my celebrity crushes, but he's married, so it's whatever but yeah you need you need to see the movie it's so funny that's funny who has like a singer do you like because like I know my celebrity crush for singers are like Niall Sean Justin who would you say um, um, um let's see I I think I have no idea um I think uh okay well I do think John Mayer is really cute but I also think, I am trying to remember his name. I think, Luke, so I recently came across Luke Benward's music. I think he's really cute. Um, yeah, and I think, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I would say him. And I met Kendrick Lamar once. I thought, thought he was cute. So. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, so on meeting stars, were you ever like starstruck by someone you met? Um, okay, so I didn't, I haven't really recently met anyone. Um, I think now I would be starstruck. But when I was in, like, when I was 13, um, I was in a show 
with a bunch of like uh, for charity with a bunch of celebrities and I just had no shame so Patrick so I just I didn't like I guess I didn't really realize like so Patrick Dempsey was talking to some like probably other celebrity who I didn't know but I just when I well 13 year old me just beeline for him and was like hi I'm Taylor what's your name <laughs> I knew his name. And he was like, hi, I'm Patrick Green. I was like, we talked for like two minutes, but I was just so, yeah, that was great. You're looking back like, okay. I know. I was like, oh God. <laughs> I'm like this kid. Yeah. So were you like the type of kid to like sing all over the house then? And like, just as loud, all your neighbors would be like hearing. <laughs> <laughs> that was, sorry guys. Yeah. A little late, a little late apology, but yeah, that was me. Oh my God. I remember the same one too. Did you ever hear that story about like Justin Bieber, how he like met Usher and like sang Usher's song for him? Yeah. So like I, in my 15 year old mind was like, this is such a great idea. Like this is wonderful. I love everything about this. So I met Nick Jonas once and it was just such not the right time, but I was like, hi, can I sing for you? <laughs> He's like, sure. <laughs> so this is like right at the time his song, um, oh God, like his, his, his solo album had just come out and it was like the Who, Who I Am song or I forget the name. So I started singing that to him and like, I just, I think he must've been so uncomfortable just but like the nature of, so he started singing along and like snapping his fingers so thank him thank nick jonas for making that encounter much better but yeah no shame no shame when i was younger i was like ah so when your first show with uh jacob is on friday correct yes so that should be exciting. so are, have you met jacob before no i haven't it'll be my first time meeting him but right before the show <laughs> you're like okay this is awesome <laughs> yeah it's like very sudden but um it'll be the show will be in my hometown it'll be in san francisco in the bay area um and a bunch of my like, high school and college friends are gonna come out so That's i'll have that the friday or no saturday the los angeles show oh yeah sorry what i'm going to the los angeles show on saturday you're coming yeah oh yay thank you yeah <laughs> i'll be there <laughs> I'll be there as well. <laughs> It'll be fun to watch you. It definitely seems like this is what you wanted to do and meant, were meant to do by all the stories and stuff. You, <laughs> but we definitely live Thank in a place yeah. where I'm, you have the opportunities to do it. Oh, yeah. I'm so lucky. I just, like, feel, like, very lucky that these opportunities, like, have come up. It's definitely been, like, a lot of work, but I think it's more than anything just being really fortunate and kind of like having these slight offshoots because like one thing like one connection could have been slightly altered or changed and like I wouldn't be here where I am you know so it's like very very fortunate to have like people around me who support me and want me to do these things and help me make it happen so like were uh were your parents very supportive when you started the, this journey I guess <laughs> to yeah, yeah. So and they still, my mom is basically my manager she's a momager oh, she's good. like she she like no she's she knows me very well like she's got thing she's got things covered uh yeah she yeah my family and my parents are super super supportive so i'm very grateful well that's awesome well i know that you write your own songs so what for the new album or did you do a different kind of writing style because I, I read about how these songs are going to be different than the ones you've written before. Yes. So I think I'm constantly changing my style um, or just like what I want to write about depending on like where I am in my life. And since like going to college and being exper like experiencing so many new things um, and just being in a different environment, that I think that has had a big influence on it and also just growing up yeah um, and like getting older has had a big influence on it and I'm I've always been a person who really enjoys change um and like looks for that so yeah kind of all of those forces combined I just really I like changing things up so I think that's yeah I'm super excited for the new album and that's why Awesome. So are you going to stay with music, do you think, after college, or are you going to change your career path? No, I think, I mean, I love music, and I 
want to keep writing songs no matter what happens uh just because I did it before it was like a thing and like I'll do it after um because I enjoy it um and I'm definitely I'm going to school not for music so yeah being um those two separate so I have like options in terms of like other career paths too and like keep just always learning and things so yeah that's good yeah that sounded smart learning and things <laughs> but yeah so when did you start like you realized you had like a gift for singing and wanting to perform live um I don't know if I ever like really sat down and thought hmm I have a gift <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't think I still to this day I still feel like very insecure performing live I get nervous my voice gets shaky all that stuff but what it really came down to was like I love doing this and it doesn't matter if I'm not perfect great good whatever at this moment I'm gonna keep working at it to be better um and as long as like other people are there to support me and like help me be better and improve and do this like I'm gonna do it just because it's what I love to do so yeah and I mean yeah, um, yeah. So that that's it. I don't. I don't think I ever had a aha moment or anything like that. It was just, yeah. It was always something I like to do. Well, that's good too. Yeah, because like with my blog, I started when I was seventeen or sixteen because I knew I couldn't do the singing part of it, but huh, I wanted to be in this career because it's awesome. People who like follow me who want to do music though and sing and will ask me to post their videos and stuff and all this stuff. But what could you tell them? about starting this music career? Like what's your advice to the people who want to start in this career path? I would say, and this is a little, I'm sure controversial, but I would say what worked for me is starting slow and not stopping education. Yeah. Um, I always, always, and to this day, I prioritize school and learning. So things take longer and they take patience. But if you really love two things, like learn, like, Education is important. Like, stay, stay in school, kids. There you go. But, um, <laughs> and if you really love like music, it will happen. Um, if you work for it, if you're not afraid to put yourself out there, like nothing obviously happened from me singing to Nick Jonas, but one day that will work for someone. So yeah. it's constantly putting yourself out there and doing things that you may be afraid to do to like show um what you can do and then never being complacent or never thinking you can't improve um and just like always working on your craft and like learning from people and that's why i think staying in school helps and yeah just being patient taking your time not expecting things to happen overnight because i know when i was younger i wanted like when i was nine or ten i was like by the time i'm 12 i want to be doing this yeah and then okay 12 came and passed by 15 by 17 and at least before college please at least before college like I started a long long time ago and just now I'm truly starting but it was it's now is the right time for me yeah. uh, 12 wouldn't have been so it's yeah it's just patience so how did you get the opportunity to uh, go on Jacob's store did they like just email you guys or something or was it like I wish it was that cool I think you know honestly so no one really tells me much I'm kind of just like showing up to things <laughs> um but no I think my manager um is good friends with their manager oh that's good that that helps you're so, yeah. uh, because you're in Stanford right yes so what are you going to like what classes are you taking right now like what major are you good you're considering at the moment god help me if I know I have no idea. <laughs> I am get it. I'm about to go to college. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, I'm definitely, yeah, definitely humanity, social sciences. I'm not a physicist. Not good at that. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm figuring it out as I go. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So with, uh, awesome. Your team, do you – put because I know you write the songs and stuff do you put a lot of your own like advice and all this stuff into the work you guys do or is it more everybody in the does all the behind the scenes stuff and you just show up 
No, I definitely, um, for a lot of things that are higher end with like people I don't know, I obviously can't do anything, but, um, a lot of, uh, a lot of the work for, um, like social media, branding, um, making appointments, doing things, it's all behind, it's all behind the scenes and I'm very much a part of it. Um, and I really enjoy being a part of it. Um, sometimes it gets hard with school and that's why things take longer. Um, just because you can't devote all of your time to either thing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why summer is so great, because I'm like, I'm done with school, 100% in. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I definitely, I'm definitely involved in the behind the scenes things, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it any other way. I like being part of that. And then with songwriting, definitely the lyrics, melody, and stuff, like, I look like, that the music, everything else is like wonderful and I'm so, so honored and excited. Um, but the music is where like my heart is. Yeah. So everything else that comes along with it, like that's an extension of what I really love to do. So of course I'm gonna put everything into those things too. Oh, that's awesome. What other plans do you have other than the tour you have this summer? Like, do you know exactly when the album should be coming out? Um, so I need to write the album. <laughs> we, did, we did like a big change where I was like, okay, I want all the songs in this to reflect this point in my life. So we need to, so I'm moving out here um, in July awesome. to spend the summer here and really work uh, in the studio, spend um, a lot of my time there and work on all the songs, record all of them. So that's, that's my summer and I'm so excited for that. That sounds like really fun. Well, thank you for doing the interview with us. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for having me. No problem. But yeah, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. It's not working. But, uh, but yeah, so it'll be fun to see you on Saturday. I'm like, yeah. yeah, you too. Hopefully I'll see you. Sorry if I'm very nervous and shaky and scared and don't sound good. Apologize in advance. No, you'll sound good. But thank you again. Bye. Yeah, no, thank you so much. Bye.